So you want to add one cup of milk, whole milk, to a saucepan. Then add one cup of unsalted butter to your milk. So put your milk and butter on a medium heat and basically let it melt down. But don't let it come to a boil. So now you need to get a really large bowl and add four and a half cups of plain flour to your bowl. So now you need to add two tablespoons of sugar to yeah. your flour. No. Then one and a half teaspoons of salt. Then add seven grams of instant yeast. I'm using Alison's dried active yeast. So give that a dry mixture a mix. That'll be a mix. Then add your milk and butter, just slowly. Ha! <laughs> it's funny. I'm actually going to add my one egg now. Hopefully there's not two in here. Double yolk. <laughs> yeah, it's done! Not done yet. I okay. can, I can crack, I can crack eggs. You can crack eggs, can't you? Keep mixing. Add some more milk and butter. It's the wrong egg! Yeah, it's the it's starting to come together. Oh. <coughs> see it for me, Alistair. There. Getting like all doughy. Yeah. See it? I need to. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Am I a robot? Am I a robot? <coughs> some rolls, something. Oh, am I a robot? So now you can tip out the dough. Is it a rabbit a robot? And start kneading it. So knead it for a good 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes, so it's sort of nice and elastic. So that's my dough kneaded for about 10 minutes. You'll know when it's, it's sort of... It's like a ball. It is like a ball. You'll know when it's ready because you can sort of touch it and it will sort of spring back just slightly. So you want to get your trays that you're using and I'm going to use some fly light just so they don't sort of stick. Just spray that on. I'm going to do um, sub rolls. I'm not actually going to make hot dog rolls. But if you want hot dog rolls, all you do is divide it up into 12 balls because this should make 12. So 12 like round balls like this. And usually what I do, hopefully you can see this, is I roll it into a ball like, like a sausage shape. Then I sort of flatten it out like this and you kind of want a rough size of like four by six um, doesn't have to be exactly that but just roughly so it kind of looks like a rectangle and then you kind of just roll it up like that and then you pinch the ends so it keeps it sort of hot dog shape and then I sort of just squidge these bits in like that and then I place it on the tray like that. Go for your usual um, sort of sort of roll, any sort of roll, like burger bun or anything. You can just roll it in a ball and just sort of squish it down in the middle like this. Just so it leaves like a bun shape like that. And then you put that on the tray. So for my sub rolls, I'm actually going to divide it into six instead of 12, because usually you do 12 for hot dogs. 
want them just to be a bit bigger. Roll it like a sausage. my one sub down and I just flatten it just a little and then I do this one so I've got my cling film I'm going to spray some fry light on it and then I'm going to cover them So I'm going to let them sit for about 30-35 minutes. So they've been sat for about 35 minutes. You can see they've got a bit fatter and risen a bit. So I'm going to pop, I'm going to obviously take the cling film off and pop them in an oven for 200 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Just keep checking on them and yeah, until they're sort of lightly brown.